Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at how we can create and invoke custom functions to automate the way we work within Power BI and Power Query. So previously in the last video, which I can link, we created a budget difference column. And basically what that did was it subtracted the spend or the budget from the spend. And by that, I mean sort of forecast from actual spend and it returned the budget difference. And you can see here within the custom column, we also wrapped that in a number dot ABS, so the Power Query M function to create an absolute number, meaning that we just have positive values displaying the variance. But there's a way that we can speed this up and you know, look to do this when fresh data comes in and automate the way we work instead of having to do this individually every time. So we can right click on our screen, we can duplicate the table, we can rename that. And this is just, you know, we can delete some of the steps to give us a clean starting point so that we can now look to create our new custom function. So to do that, we can right click on a blank area of the screen underneath the custom function test table, click new query, blank query, and we can then go ahead and rename this to budget difference, because essentially we're going to be using the advanced editor to perform the same steps as our custom column from before, but we're also going to make this reusable. So we can go into home with the budget difference query selected and go into advanced editor. And let's look at what we need to type in here. So we're going to just name this as difference. And we're going to say we want difference to be equal to the parameters of spend and budget. And then we need to add this equals and greater than sign just as part of the syntax here within Power Query M. And then now what we're going to do is basically just list the actual, you know, the, sub the calculation, the subtraction that we had before in the custom column. So we can say, we're basically saying this budget difference is going to be um, the result of the spend minus the budget. And we're going to wrap it in that number.abs function that creates an absolute or, or positive number to display variance. And then we just have to end it with indifference which is also, you notice the same keyword that we have next to, to let. So once we've done that and we've typed that in, we can go ahead and actually see how this works. So remember we had the blank table and in order to reuse this function, remember we're gonna achieve something close to the budget difference or actually something identical to the budget difference. In order to use this, we have to click add column because that's the actual action that we're going to take and from there we can invoke a custom function now we don't actually have to enter the new column name and you'll see why because when we select the function query budget difference it actually populates that which is perfect because that's the naming convention we're looking for and we just align the spend to the previous parameters that we we assigned and you'll notice to get the budget, we just have to click that drop down, select column name and budget. And now looks okay. When we click okay and confirm this, we get the exact same budget difference as we saw reflected in our location spend. And also important to note, this is a reusable, so it helps automate uh, our processes and make things more efficient. Now we can go in, click close and apply. We can check this has worked. We'll see it loaded into our model and the fields. Um, and as usual, if you enjoy this content, if you use this, feel free to let me know. And also like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.